What's up guys, it's Justin here, and as we start 2022, I'm really excited to bring you content on the channel that is going to show you some of the cool products that were announced, innovations that have been made in the tech industry, but also taking products that were already very popular in 2021 and taking them to the next level. So as CES just wrapped up, we did see a lot of that, and this right here is a product from Samsung called the Freestyle. And it's something that I feel like from a millennial standpoint is going to be very, very popular because portable projectors in like home, and also ones that you can have in your bedroom, office, or bring it with you anywhere have become a lot more popular due to the improvements in quality, portability, and efficiency. And this right here is actually a pre-production model and I wanna give a huge thanks to Samsung for sponsoring this video because as someone who checked out a lot of projectors and home theater products in this last year, this right here does bring a lot of unique features that I may not have thought of before. So we're gonna go ahead and show you different ways that it can be set up, how easy it is to use, but also some of the different unique features that haven't been seen before on any other projector like this. We do have a lot of cool tech and best tech episodes planned for this year that are gonna be in all different price ranges as we did in the holiday season, but more regularly. So if you guys are excited for those and are also excited for the giveaways within those videos, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, have your notifications on, and also drop a thumbs up on this video. I would also be very interested to hear what you guys think are gonna be the top tech trends for 2022. So for starters, you go ahead and take a look at the form factor itself. It is just so small and it comes in at a weight of 850 grams which is just insane and it's probably one of the lightest projectors out there that is able to deliver this quality you take a look at the front here you have the actual lens itself but also the sensors for the automatic keystone setup there's some touch capacitive buttons as well and there's also plenty of areas where it is ventilating with kind of the 360 cylindrical design that have been very popular in speakers out there and has proven to work very well but at the same time not only from like a ventilation standpoint but also from like the actual speaker standpoint, I feel like every possibility has kind of been considered here. And you do also have your different IO here for the HDMI, the USB type C for powering it with like a wall plug or also through a battery pack. And there's also the mic on off for the smart assistant. So just generalizing in terms of the design, you have like this hinge setup here that allows you to adjust the different angles and like rotate it however you want. So that's a great level of flexibility. But at the same time, when you look at this form factor, you could also have it pointed up to a ceiling in the bedroom, for example. And if you're just laying in bed and being able to watch a movie like that, I feel like that's a great application without having to like set it up crazy on like a book or tilt it sideways. Instead, you just go ahead and rotate it and the auto keystone will adjust accordingly. But if you go ahead and take a look at their actual like accessory lineup, you can also have this installed in like a lamp, for example, a screw on lamp through like a detachment, which I feel like is really, really cool because in that case, you can also have it project down onto a table and have like a keyboard and everything connected to it. And there's just so much areas of flexibility, which is why it is named the Freestyle. So when it comes to setting it up, wherever you bring it, you just go ahead and turn it on and it has the auto keystone, auto focus, auto leveling, and no distortion at all. And as you rotate it around, it will kind of adjust accordingly. And I found that to work very, very well. In terms of the actual size, this is obviously a pretty small projector and it will give you an image size of around 30 to 100 inches. And I feel like that is a pretty reasonable one because say you're on like a table, you don't exactly need like the largest size so you can actually scale down but 100 inches is still one where you could bring with you and watch some movies or sports with friends and just be able to enjoy a very large display with a product of the size and weight, which is really crazy. I found that like the sweet spot was probably around like the 70 to 80 inch range in terms of its best image quality, but I do like the fact that you go ahead and turn it on and set it up. It's all good to go. It automatically does everything for you because one of the biggest issues that I do run into with projectors is that like the actual setup process and calibration is not exactly good in a portable setting. You do have to kind of tinker with it here and there, and after you set it up, you don't really want to move it with you everywhere. From an image quality standpoint, obviously Samsung has a lot of experience in this space. They make one of the better laser TVs on the market and are obviously very well known for their TV and display technology, and that really does translate over here. 
When it comes to like portable products, you obviously don't always have the highest expectations because it does have some trade-offs when it's at this size. But I can say the colors were actually pretty accurate. They did have a bit of a punch to it, which I feel like whenever you're watching like a movie or like sports, that is an area where I do kind of like to have a little bit more contrast and vibrance as opposed to having like a very accurate representation if I'm say like editing photo or video on a computer screen. So generally speaking, I found that if if you're within like that window of like 30 to 80 inches, you're gonna be very happy with the image quality. And even though it is a full HD projector, the autofocus and the brightness was adequate enough to give you like a pretty sharp image overall. And just some of the applications in like my personal use cases that I found it very nice in was for example, in the office, we're often moving things all over the place. So there might be a TV in the media cabinet one day and just nothing on the wall another day. You can literally put this anywhere and just turn it on, it will set everything up and you're good to go and you have that 100 inch maximum sized image. Another case though is just having it on like your bedside table. You place it there, you point it up to the ceiling, you adjust the orientation and the size and you can literally lay in bed and watch TV. Um, and say you want to like bring it outside somewhere and watch movies at night, you can just Take this with you outside, turn it on, and when you're done, you can just bring it back in, throw it in your backpack, and you're good to go. What is actually pretty cool though is while you're transporting it, you wanna put like the dust cap on so you don't like scratch the lens, but this actually doubles as a functional accessory, which is a magic prism lamp. So you go ahead and turn it on, and when it's in this magic prism mode, it gives you like a soft glow to it, so you can actually utilize this as a light when you're not using it as a projector. You can essentially have it as a mood light, and that is all thanks to just how stylish this is. Whether you have it mounted on the ceiling or as a track light, or just as something that is literally sitting right here as like an accent or reading light, and even something that you have in like your bedside table folded upwards, for example, I feel like this is a pretty cool feature and a pretty good utility for what is typically just like an afterthought of keeping the lens protected. Now moving on to like the interface and menu. So this is powered by Tizen 6.0, which is their 2022 system that has all of your smart TV access to your streaming platforms as well as Samsung platforms. And just some of the smart home assistants that are built in include Amazon Alexa, Bixby, and also Google Assistant. And there's also a physical like mute switch right here for the microphone, which is something that I think people really do value. But in terms of the interface experience, it was generally pretty fast to navigate. It has all of your settings built in. And as someone who has Samsung TVs around the house, I personally really like the Tizen interface and found that to work pretty well over the years. You also do have the option to stream stuff to it through like Google Chromecast, for example, or also AirPlay 2. And those are all features that do tie in all the different ecosystems that I seem to have around me at all times and I'm personally someone who does control everything from my phone and just stream it over to like the TV or projector. The additional features that we talked about with like the dust cap for example is Luxo Home and there's also like different features within the Luxo setup. It's actually called TV to Luxo which allows you to watch content at the same time in another room and on the TV at the same time. It is definitely a lot of features. Some people are gonna use them a lot, whereas others may just use it as a simple projector. And I'm someone who I find would maybe use a few of them, but maybe not all of them. I have found with smart TVs, Google Assistant has been very useful. And also the fact that the main priority of a projector is always the image quality, how easy and fast it is to set up. And the Freestyle is really able to achieve that. But if you're someone who really does wanna utilize the additional features, these are ones that I haven't seen on any other projector before. Moving on to the sound quality though, you have a five watt speaker with two passive radiators. And even though like it is not the loudest speaker out there, it is louder than a lot of the competing options on the market that come in a little bit heavier, but are in still like kind of the same size and form factor class as the freestyle. I found that like for any like given room that is maybe 100 square feet, at the maximum volume, you're gonna be able to cover that. And I like the fact that it has like a 360 setup. So no matter where you're sitting around the room, you're still able to hear the content that is going on. But I would have liked to have seen maybe more inputs to be able to plug in like a speaker through 3.5 or something to be able to increase that sound significantly. Because I do understand that even though five watts is more than a lot of the other options that we're comparing to on the market, it is still not the loudest. So at the end of the day, if you're looking for a good projector that is nice and portable, comes in at just 830 grams and is literally like this small, 
I feel like you really can't go wrong with this. Um, it's just like very easy to bring around with you everywhere. And if portability is your intention as well as pretty good image quality, then this is one that you definitely should look into. The product spec though may vary when it goes on sale depending on the geographical territory that it's sold in. There are a ton of other features though and a ton of different applications and we've talked about some of the accessories in this video and just to list them now there are different colored sleeves that you can go ahead and replace to get like a personalized look as well as like the socket the track attachment for like the lighting setup and overhead setups this bulb socket feature is limited to certain regions that it's sold in but we do expect it to come to north america another accessory will also be a dedicated waterproof case which is interesting. And there's also a battery pack that you can go ahead and purchase that allows you to power this on the go so you don't have to always be near a wall outlet. And that is probably the accessory that I would say is very, very useful, but I did find it pretty interesting to maybe be able to test it out in the overhead setting in the future because that is something that I wouldn't have thought of. And I feel like it is truly innovative that you can connect like say a computer to it and a keyboard and be able to use your computer on your table. It is almost like futuristic or holographic to some degree. And it is kind of cool to see Samsung implementing as many use cases into a product as possible. But otherwise, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.